This is my mid-2012 MacBook Pro with Retina display. And lately the fans have been going quite quickly, I've noticed. Now I suspect this is due to dust being built up inside and causing it to kind of overheat a little bit. So I'm going to try to take the back off. I'm armed with a 56-bit driver kit from iFixit.com, one of which will open the MacBook. A little air blower, also from iFixit.com. And some compressed air. Now the first thing I need to do is take this case off. It's a bit broken, so it should just come off easily like that. Now, Apple irritatingly use proprietary screws in their products to stop you getting inside them. This is why you need to buy special things like this. And what I'm looking for is a Pentelope P5 bit. So this one should be able to open the back up. These screws are really tiny, so you need to be careful. These screws are absolutely tiny, so I'm going to put them in these little plastic things to try to not lose them, because that would be pretty bad. Okay. Ooh. It's strange to see inside. Okay, it's quite dusty in there. Okay, I'm gonna try to balance this. This is gonna make such a mess. <coughs> yeah, there's quite a lot of big bits of dust coming out. The little air blower is more gentle and can get a bit closer to things, but in general the compressed air is nice and powerful and does a much better job at getting the dust out of the fans. When you're using compressed air you need to be careful to keep it upright, don't tilt it, and do it in short bursts, don't hold the button down. I think that'll do, hopefully nothing is broken now. Okay, I think the lid is aligned. Now to get all of these screws back in. So I'll put my little case back on. This is a spec case, um, but the corners are starting to break, so I don't really recommend it. Okay, let's see how it performs now. I mean, I probably won't see any difference. Just hopefully when I'm doing some CPU or GPU intensive work, it'll be a bit quieter. Nothing seems to be broken. Cleaning the inside of a MacBook, or any laptop for that matter, is fairly easy. You just need to get yourself the right type of screwdriver and once you've got it it's really quick and it's definitely worth doing because it'll keep your Mac running at peak performance. Thanks for watching.